Rise and shine kids, I hope you all are doing well. In today's class, we are going to study chapter Moon Landing. Let's study the chapter. The moon has always fascinated humans. It looked lovely in the dark amid the twinkling stars. My kids, moon always has attracted humans. And it looked so lovely in the dark sky, surrounded by the twinkling stars. Emid means surrounded by the twinkling star. So pure and beautiful that people have wondered what it must really be like. Moon looked so beautiful and pure that people are wondering that how it must really be like. Do you know that it is so far yet the earth's natural satellite and Control the movements of tides in our seas and oceans. Kids, do you know moon is a earth's natural satellite and it controls the movements of tides in the seas and the oceans. Can you imagine the excitement created when the first spacecraft landed on the moon? To get some idea, read the following extract with Kenneth Aga. My kids, this is the extract. That is being shared by Kenneth Agar, the excitement and the experience of Neil Armstrong and Edwin Eldrin. It is Sunday, 20th July 1969. The Neil Armstrong and the Edwin Eldrin in the Eagle landing craft are slowly, dro slowly dropping down towards the surface of the moon. The two American astronauts, that the Neil Armstrong and Edwin Eldrin, they are going to the surface of the moon and they slowly landed on the surface. They glide over the rocks and craters until they see a clear and level suitable play for landing. Now my kids, as they were in spacecraft, they were gliding due to the craters. Craters means pits due to pits and holes. They were gliding. Okay, they were shaking. Okay. And they landed on the suitable space for on the surface of the moon. Down, down, until the feet of the eagle gently touch and settle on the moon's surface. You can see, there it is the extract that is being shared with us when Neil Armstrong and Edwin Eldrin are going on the mission to the surface of the moon. Down, down, Neil Armstrong said, till the land, uh, spacecraft touched the surface of the moon. Through the cracking radio signals, Come the Armstrong voice. It was the voice of the Neil Armstrong and it was signaling to the uh, spacecraft that down, down. It is a suitable space for landing. The eagle has landed. Eagle means spacecraft has landed. Very smooth touchdown. We are in the middle of the wide oval plain about 8 miles per 3 miles with some hills on the horizon. And there are small, small hills on the horizon. A large number of craters, about 5 to 50 feet across and there are craters craters means pits and holes gadde jise kehte hain every variety of rock available here not much color mostly gray it is beautiful and there are variety of rocks that are here mostly are gray and it looks very beautiful later the two astronauts neil armstrong and edwin eldrin climbed out and walked on the surface of the moon they came out of the spacecraft and this was the excitement that they are sharing that they landed on the surface of the moon and they are walking on the surface. They kick a fine powdery dust like charcoal that was sticked on their boots and cloths. And there was some uh, powdery like substance that was sticked on their shoes and dress. So they were kicking it out. They plant a flag but there was no air to make breeze. It hung limply. Means wo it was hanging but it was not moving because there is no air. Okay. So they plant their flag, country flag on the surface of the moon. And there is no sign of water or any form of life. And on moon they are also telling us that there is no sign of life. No one exists here and there is no water also. On which planet there is life? Earth. Very good. The sun glares out of the black cloudy sky far away. The earth shines blue and white and sun was visible from the black cloudless sky far away. It was very 
it was very at a distant place very far away place and the earth shines blue and white from the surface of the moon earth was visible like blue and white during the long moon day the temperature rises to 188 degrees celsius but fall nearly to 113 degrees celsius at night they are also telling on the long moon day the temperature rises to 188 degrees celsius and during night it is 113 degree celsius you can see everything is being shared with us in their clumsy space suit the astronauts find movement difficult the, the space suit that they wear it is very clumsy and awkward so they find difficult and uncomfortable movement to okay the movement is very difficult okay but the low gravity gravity means a force which makes things to drop to the ground for example you are throwing ball it comes back due to the force of the gravity the things come back to the ground but on the moon there is low gravity due to which neil armstrong and edwin aldrin are hopping a small jump like kangaroos okay the scoop of the specimen of rocks and dusty moon soil from the surface to bring back to the earth now what they did they dig unhone kya kara they dig means khodna soil soil from the surface of the moon and bring back to the earth they dig some soil from the surface of the moon and they bring back to the earth beside hanging the flag and bringing the soil from the surface of the moon they also they were also sending pictures by television they were sending the live pictures of the moon they take color photographs and sign films they took video clips and photographs also soon it is time for them to return to their spacecraft to prepare a long journey back to the earth it is not a small journey kids it's a very long journey now they have decided that it's the time to go back to the spacecraft and come back to the earth behind them in the dust they leave their footprints and behind them in the dust they left their footprints a reminder of how men first walked upon the moon and they left their footprints means pairo ke nishan ki how men had had walked to the surface of the moon neil armstrong rightly said as he stepped on the moon once neil armstrong stepped on the moon he said although it is a small step for a man for a man it is a small step but a giant leap for mankind a big achievement for mankind ki a footprint is very small but it's a huge achievement for all okay kids i hope this chapter is clear to you my kids astronauts brings huge achievements and huge researches from the space okay rakesh sharma kalpana chavla these all are indian astronauts i hope the chapter is clear to you if you face any query you can ask me thank you